Alright, hi everyone, Crimson Patty here, and we are back with uh, the <coughs> Blue Lights of Destiny. I've just gone through to the safe town. Sacred Warden, young painters of his feet, safe. This is your home. At present, this one is precious information for the Warden. He looks like he's wearing a cookie on his face. Young one is welcome to speak to members of the Loyal, not royal. Crucial supplies can be purchased from the beloved shopkeeper. <laughs> or the old merchant, I suppose. Young one must pay attention to most important tasks ahead. Precious. She was asked to aid from the warden. God. Once again, another voice that really strains my throat. Where can I find them? The soul of this trap is deep on the mighty wall. Trapped? Because where is the headed next? Alright. So I guess I have to go through the mighty wall. This doesn't... Why do they all look like they're wearing cookies on their faces? Let's go through here, then. Some of the music sounds really, at, like, on a different, completely different layer to the rest. It's really strange. <coughs> mm, yeah, those boxes are impenetrable, so... Hello? <gasps> The Foothold Warden! This is glad- uh, Sorry, I'm not gonna give him another voice, because he won't be around for long. Scout mentioned you were stuck. How can I help? Young Saviour must be traveling from the campfire that passed Unbreakable Gate. Sacred Warden must sleep at campfire and travel through the spirit dream. Okay, okay, so it's a bit like the uh, thingy from Ocarina of Time. Awaken on this one, the side of the stump. Okay, that's a cool little mechanic, I guess. Where is the fire, though? I didn't see it. The fuck is the fire? Do I can I climb this? Oh, can I climb this? No. Can I jump up there? No. Can I can I wall jump? No. Modern gaming. Wait, listen. Sleep at the campfire and travel through the spirit room. Okay, but where is the campfire? How do I get to it, buddy? You have to give me give me a hint. I guess I can. Do I start with going? I'm gonna go up here, get a little bit uh, lay of the land, basically. Oh. Ooh, ooh. All right. And tally up. Okay, I don't think I can jump to that. Can I jump up there? Ah! <laughs> There's something so funny about that for some reason to me. Um, yeah, I can't seem to jump up here. I don't know where he's actually asked me to go, so I guess maybe do I have to go outside and find a campfire? I'll go have a look. I really hope I'm not stuck on the first... On the trailer, God, it just—it's just an upbeat version of the same song. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's a campfire here. <coughs> it's not lit though, so can you light this for me? Fire will not light. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so let's use this and then E. There we go. Arrest and sleep. <laughs> Mr. Wade. Okay, so now I'm in the horrific place. E to stand. Oh, control to stand. I find that a bit weird. It's control to stand, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, okay. Right, let's not go that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm guessing I go. Oh, I think that was the way I was meant to go into there. Because that's the Royal Bastion, so. Well, let's rest here and then sleep and wake up inside the place. Yeah, okay, there we go. I like these kind of puzzles because they reward you for being sort of m not very clever, just mildly thinking about the situation. When a modern game would have you just be like, <coughs> You're gonna go fucking join it. Well, if you wanna be a big cop in a small town, better go to. F oh, what's he say? Better fuck off to the toy village from uh, Hot Fuzz. Well, that didn't work. 
Hello. Well done, clever warden. That was... That... What was that place? Young one, he has passed through the warden's spirit dream. Now, Stubborn Gate must be opened. So one can return to the safe village. How do we open it? Nimble warden must reach lofty lever. Okay. <sighs> Give me a moment. Alright, mate. Considering you're a lazy shit. Nope. So... Yeah, it, it, those kind of puzzles are very nice because they're very rewarding when you don't actually do much. It, the game sort of points everything out to you, but you feel rewarded for what you did even though you didn't really do anything. And that's it's a clever game's design. It's very clever game design. And obviously, um, the nice thing is... Uh, can a sword break through this? Or? No. I'm guessing I can maybe jump around? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that um obviously all these kind of puzzles were designed very very many years ago, 20 years ago in fact, because it was Zelda's 20th birthday very recently. And it was 20th or 30th, I think it was 20th. But that is the sort of very minimal self-gratification that you need to give to make someone feel like they accomplished something without actually really accomplishing something. And I enjoy that kind of game design because it's it's what good games design is really. There we go. I feel like I did that. Yeah, I think you could have done that multiple ways, which is nice. But I can. There's a friend in need. I can go down that way anyway, so I might as well go down this way and collect the motes on the way out. I guess going the other way rewards you with the big moat of light, the bundle. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the bundle saver pack DLC? You basically download Motes of Light. Oh. There we go, I missed one, but who gives a shit? Alright. The gate is open, you're free to go. What's next? Clever Warden must open the final gate to say... What? IT gate from opening. Three circles must be destroyed to release the gate. These crystals don't sound like something our people ever developed. Ah! My father did to keep the people safe, but she made those mud men attack our people who were driven from the forest. Without wise noise influence, angry golems could not be controlled. Foolish soldiers doomed um Sorry, my brain just stopped working for a second there. Those crystals need to be destroyed to free Niona. Where do I find them? In crystals outside the Haven Town. I was going to say, oh, okay, so that's a map. Town journey deep into the that's upsetting. I thought that was the uh I thought that was actually the crystals. <laughs> I had to pledge moats to open the last door. Are there any more moat bundles around? Young one must explore the Haven Town to find mis mischievous no bun moat bundles. Okay, let's do this. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it just in case. <laughs> just because I don't wanna go outside and feel stupid. So yeah, okay, so we are here, so we have to go outside, go all the way around to the left, go outside, go all the way over here, and then all the way to the right, okay. Simples. I think. God, we look very kitted out for a fucking two feet child. So the first and closest one is this one to the far left, I think, so. Oh, nearly fell off there. <coughs> This, that map doesn't feel like an ap accurate representation. But, uh, yeah, okay, so we... I really want one of them. <laughs> Just to follow me around, so I have to pledge the thousand moats to this, and then I can go through and destroy this crystal, I guess. Okay. And then I'll need to find another bundle here or somewhere else to be able to destroy the other ones. I feel like this is sort of like the mini Triforce trials in a weird way. The depth of field definitely is a bit much. Like, I can't fucking see a thing over there. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a Venus flytrap, but with a moat on it. Alright, well that's fucking horrifying. Oh! <laughs> Well, my first death was due to try and try again. Um, the first death was to a Venus flytrap, which feels a bit 
ungratifying. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Well. <laughs> As I said, I don't think that's meant to be working as a first person platforming's never the easiest, unfortunately. That's kind of the problem with first person and platforming. The two don't normally work hugely well. I need you to come over here, mate. I cannot fight you on that thing. Mm, thank you. Boop. Okay. Alright. Boop. Wow, that's a one hit kill. That's awesome. Dun 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 Oh, that's a lot of them. I guess the crystal must be near here or something, because... Ah! I don't know how to dodge these things. Fuck it. Run! My helmet! No! Ha! 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 Right, I got my helmet. That's good. Thank God. I would not have felt safe without my helmet. Alright, the controls aren't working for a second there. I clicked the right, so this is gonna show us the crystal, I'm supposing. I feel like they could have maybe added a different track that might play in a different area or something because I already know every tune of this song. Oh, I didn't even realise these were the enemies. I thought these were the cookie faces. Oof, that's probably racist. <laughs> well, that guy just fucking straight up stabbed a child. I think the uh, big hammer's not the best... No. You get punished for dying and they take away your helmet? No. My helmet better be up here, mate, or your family's. You know what? Alright. You ain't gonna see your wife and kids again. He had a wife and fucking kids. Never seen them again. Little girl's gonna be like, Where's Danny? And mummy's just gonna be crying. And she gets fucked by the neighbour. This was the neighbour. He ain't gonna be fucking that dude's wife tonight. This is not good. That's a lot of enemies. I've attracted a lot of enemies. Oh my god, I'm trying to fucking dodge roll out of here, but... This style of combat is not meant to be fighting many, many people. Okay. Oh god. Alright, I did it. Fucking hell. This style of combat is not meant for... Uh... Huh. I, no, I can't sacrifice this because it's too cool. I can fucking give up this though for that. And I'm pretty sure it's just a cooler version of it. One, then E. Boop. Yeah. And. <laughs> mobile hits. Hmm. Ding! Well, I just sunk through the fucking ground. You shall not pass. You shall not pass your test. Ah! I'm not 100 percent if you can just ease. Right, I need to get this fucking saw. Where's my body going? <laughs> body dragged across the ground for a second there. All right, I need to use the sword. I think because that was not working. I'm guessing. I'm do I just have? No, I went to that door and didn't do anything. So let's go back to the sword. Yeah, okay, the sword is definitely a lot better at fighting than anything else in the game, so I guess I will just stick to it. I'm going to try and at least kill one before they will fucking dogpile me again. I wish that the combat was maybe a tiny bit faster, because 
I feel like there's a lot of enemies. Like in Zelda, you did often get piled, but it was normally by a max of like three or four enemies. And when that happened, that was the nightmare situation. Like the fucking Wind Waker with the the pigs. Oh man, that was annoying. If anyone remembers that, when there was the pig temple after you get, after you find out Zelda. Whoa, ho, ho, buddy. Damn, that is, that is, uh, uh, I think uh, we're going to have to get some uh, careless whispers on that, but, um, right, I'm just going to leave before I make myself actually do editing, because no one wants to actually do editing, no one, not even someone that's future job is going to be literally editing. Wow. Ah, yeah. Oh my god, that's a giant... Why don't you help for a change? Move! There must be a campfire nearby. <laughs> Great, the dog is solid. Glad the dog is solid. Oh, well, let's kill this thing first. Oh, ah, 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 ah. No, don't... How did that cut the grass so nicely? I mean, Icon. Oh, right. Well, I am going to end this episode here because uh, my voice is getting a bit strained, and I think it would be a good time to end it in general anyway, because I'm enjoying this game. I am enjoying it a lot, and I do think there is a few things I need to fix about it. But I am definitely going to need to take a long time with this by the feel of things, because this tutorial is going on for quite some time. So if you guys are enjoying it, please leave a like and subscribe for more of this and other content. Thank you very much. This has been Chris Bay. Peace out.